Hello my crafty people, this is Carmen with Elemental Designs here um, and I just wanted to come on here real quick and show you guys uh, a little bag that I made um, it's a little bag that I made with the new embossing folders that I bought from Spellbinders um, and I just thought it came out super super cute so I wanted to come on here and show you guys um, let me zoom out a little bit so you guys can get the full spectrum of what it is um, so I pretty much used this embossing folder right here so one of those 3d um, embossing folders by spellbinders um, I also made this cute little tack but I haven't uh, painted it yet which I'm going to do um, so yeah and I made this uh, little bag to keep or to go with uh, more or less uh, the flip book that I made, I have the video up in case anybody, um, any of you guys uh, want to see it. Um, so this was that uh, little flip book and I pretty much measured the paper to go around it and um, it, it wasn't quite large enough, it was an 8 by, it's an 8 by 5 by 11 uh, size paper um, or cardstock and it's not enough to go around the whole thing so I had to kind of like leave an opening in the center and then just add a uh, another paper um, but what I did is I actually after I embossed uh, these pieces I used on the one side I used uh, one of them to actually conceal and you know bring the whole back closed um, and this is the bottom and I just added this little sticker there uh, just to you know have it say something because I don't I don't really have anything uh, to go in here so I just kind of added that just for the heck of it um, but I just thought it was super super cute um, and I did it more or less in the same style uh, with the embossing patterns that I um, not embossing patterns but with the same uh, inking style uh, that I used on this uh, flip book here and then I just kind of made this little uh, clip this little tassel clip to kind of uh, hang off on the side there and I just added some tool and some uh, little black ribbons and some uh, white organza um, and some lace um, so that's that and then the back it's more or less the same just I left this area uh, plain and all you have to do is after you add uh, your metallic inks um, as most of you know they use these kinds of inks uh, they're very very messy and they don't dry it takes forever for them to dry but what I do is after I emboss it and I you know uh, paint over it um, I add <laughs> yeah things just fall on the side um, I add some matte medium and I paint over it with that and pretty much as soon as the matte medium is dry no more um, getting messy fingers that issue is completely resolved and no wait no need to wait for it to dry or anything like that I'm gonna dry super 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 quick um, so this is what I did I just thought it was super super cute I loved how they came out and then I just punched a hole here on the side of the bag so that I can attach the little clip to it um, and then I had some leftover pieces so I just cut those in half and kind of glued those in place I have to add some more glue here um, yeah you're gonna see me doing some quick little repairs because I just added this um, other side so I guess I didn't add enough glue on that um, but yeah, these embossed um, pieces are, you know, separate pieces um, that I embossed and then I attached to uh, the bag uh, with some glue. But I just thought it was super cute and it fits in the bag ever so nicely. Well, if I'm not getting caught up on, you know, the little things, but isn't that cute? Nobody will ever know what's inside of it until they pull it out and... Yeah. the handles are actually good for holding it and pulling it back into place um, so yeah if you guys want to see how I made uh, this bag please drop me a comment below and I will be sure to get that tutorial going um, for you please give me a thumbs up as you guys know that is ever so encouraging on creating these types of projects um, and definitely on, on getting those tutorials going but isn't this super cute? I am loving it. I've never really played with embossing folders because I didn't have embossing folders. Um, and silly me, never thought that that was something I should actually invest in. Um, the cuddle came with one and I stayed with that one pretty much 
I've had the color book for about eight years. I mean, eight years. Like, you hear me? I'm sounding crazy. Um, I've had it for about maybe eight months, six to eight months. Um, that I've been that I've gotten, you know, more heavy into the paper crafting. Um, so I never really thought to invest. Plus, every time I went to go buy them, they were like, you know, kind of like out of my price range. Um, so. Spellbinders had a sale, and I said, you know what, why not, let's try this, um, and I am super, super happy, uh, with how it came out, and now that I know how to work the dang thing, I was able to pass it, uh, easily, uh, through the machine, and actually get those really nice, deep impressions, uh, into the paper, uh, one little hint, though, if you are going to use, uh, especially these kinds of dies, the Spellbinder dies, because they do, uh, you know, set so deeply into the paper, um, you might want to just lightly pass a baby wipe or a lightly wet rag or, or paper kind of over your paper. Don't rub it on. You don't want to soak the paper. You just want to lightly pass it through um, and then just run your paper real quickly so that it doesn't break into the paper. Because if you do a dry cut, just, you know, straight out of the pack, um, nine times out of ten, you're going to crack. Uh, some of the raised images are going to crack on you and there's really no repairing that. It'll, you, you'll still be able to see it. But um, I did that. I, I kind of ran a baby wipe uh, through the paper really quickly. And then I embossed it. And it came out super cute. So let me know if this is something that you guys like. Let me know if you want to see a tutorial on this. Let me get this out of the way here. So the contrast. Too much black. Too much black. As always, me and my messy desk. But, um, you know, I craft pretty much as many times as I possibly can during the day when I you know when I'm able to so I always have a mess going on one in one place or the other so I hope you guys like it Please give me a thumbs up and share subscribe comment all of that good stuff and I will catch you guys on the next one bye bye